everybody and welcome back to my channel. On this chapter I'm going to focus on doing one of the major modifications which is the building in the ailerons that are not in the plans so you have to think of how it goes there. But before we go into it I wanted to show you that I found a, a catalogue from, from Guillaume's. It's from another model, it didn't come with this model. Um, very nice thing to look through to look for future projects. And uh, we see here the one that I'm building now, which is the Supermarine Spitfire kit number 504. It says here, build time is about 15 hours. I'm currently around 5 hours, so it could make sense. And for ages 10 and up, which I also meet those requirements. So that should be fine. Um, very nice catalog. If you can get hold of any of other, other products from Willows, they're really very nice and very easy to, to put together. So, let's get into it. Now, for the modification of the ailerons, I'm, I'm, I brought up two old pieces of, uh, of scrap balsa. The challenge is that if you have any piece of wood, it won't hinge so easily. If it's a very narrow piece of wood, a very, a very thin sheet, then it will hinge. Right? Like, uh, that's, I think, quite evident. That will hinge quite easily with a very minor modification. In this case, the, at the point where I want to cut the spars or the, the ribs, it's going to be probably like 3 millimeters, 4 millimeters wide. So even if it's a bit exaggerated, it's not going to be so easy for it to hinge. So I have to decide if I'm going to put the hinge at the bottom, in the middle or at the top. On one model I put it at the bottom, which leaves a significant gap at the top so that there's some movement. The same would happen if I put it at the top. So with this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to put the hinge in the middle. For that I'm going to take some some one and a half millimeter balsa, I'm going to build it in and then I'm going to basically sand it down so that it gets into a shape that it's kind of triangular on each of the sides and in that way that it will allow for some movement. I don't need much but some movement is needed and then put in the connecting hinge through the middle. Now, the other ways of doing hinges and the other ways of, of doing these modifications, um, this is the, the second one I'm doing, so I'm not particularly an expert. So if you have any other better ideas or some representation about how to do it, or how to put some complex hinges that are light and functional, I would be glad to hear about it in the comments. So any tip and trick would be more than welcome. <laughs> cut the four pieces, two for each side of the one will be for the frame or two will be for the frame of the wing and another two will be for the frame of the aileron. It needs to be closed off so that then the the, the tissue has somewhere to to stick to and uh, I don't know if you can notice it, it's probably too small a difference but as the wing actually tapers out it gets thinner these are also a little bit wider on one side and then on the other, it's like one millimeter difference. It goes from five millimeters or six millimeters down to five millimeters. And then I've decided to try to put it across all three struts. So that also means that whatever rib I'm building for this part is going to have to be at some kind of an angle to meet for the for the dihedral. Um, I've decided to going at this kind of distance, which I did measure. I measured it on both sides taking as a reference also the radiators and the cooler drawings that we have on the, on the plans and uh, I'd be building on that. So I'm hoping that this size of the aileron will be strong enough to be able to control and to to stabilize the, the airplane in flight. Uh, another big problem will be then how to how to move them but that will be in the next chapter. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go aileron by aileron and I'm going to have to cut the ribs, I'm going to cut the middle ribs at the at the size where I want to put in the the new spar, let's say, and then I'm going to have to build up two new ribs, one for each end. So one will go on this end, 
and one will go on the other end and it will be of course then the same on both sides so nice challenge a lot of detail work uh, let's hope I don't mess it up maybe one comment also as I was doing it I was thinking uh, I think the carpenters used to say or they still say measure twice cut once right so I hope I measured it right and uh, I don't have to cut it again in any case if I did cut it wrong it's not a big deal I can always cut it again that's the great thing of these things especially at this point mistakes can be fixed though, relatively easily so let's go with the fun of cutting the ribs and let's see how it comes along of the ailerons built this one is pretty much dry I hope so I can take it out and that one still has to dry um, with the with that structure built there's still some some steps to take before I can go ahead with the with the next part of the build um, I need to sand down as I was explaining before I need to sand down here at an angle and here at an angle and I need to do it also on the wing I can't do it on the wing yet because it's fixed to the plan I don't want to keep it there um, I need to sand down basically get the shape for the, the final shape of the aileron and then also prepare for the hinges I'll probably go with two hinges on each side um, but that's also going to be that I can do them offline also I'll do them the same on the on the other wing uh, I'll prepare that and then I'll show you the end result before then wrapping up in this video so the ailerons are almost ready, I've uh, sanded them down, I've also put the little, little plastic hinges, I think you can see them here, they're also very small, I had to cut in slots into the ailerons and also into the spars that I put in the, on the wing and then fitted them there. I've also sanded them down, I don't know if you can see them the profile, maybe this way a bit better, that it's the shape is somehow curved around you can't really see it but it's it's like that and i've also started to do it also on the on the wings i still have the wings there so i still have to finish that off but the next step is going to be to create a dihedral for that i'm going to put in as it says here a one inch block of wood under the wing stick it uh, put, uh, prop it up and then stick it at the spars and also have to stick them the new frame that i have for the ailerons and then once that is done then i'll i'll finish sanding off then the the frame for the ailerons on the wings 
and then I'll be able to fit them completely. After that, then potentially uh, covering with tissue would also be, uh, but first of all, I'll sand it down and I still have to figure out exactly where the, where the electronics is going to go. So I'm going to get on with that and once, once I have then the, the dihedral built in, then I'll show you that. And here we have a Spitfire wing, beautiful shape, right? With the dihedral in place and movable ailerons on both sides. There you are. Now, I still haven't glued in the hinges, they're just little bits of plastic that you can buy, um, because I'll, I'll be doing that once I do the full covering. So from the moment that's, for the moment that's still not fixed in, I can still pull them out relatively easily, I hope. Um, I still need to sand it down a little bit and prepare the, the, the leading edges and the, the trailing edges, sand down the joints, wait for it to set properly. That's a, that's a point. And then the next step probably with this wing will be either the covering or even before that to see how I build in the servers and the electronics. That's going to be a chapter in its own. So let's see how that goes. So that was quite time consuming I'm going to say. Each aileron took me over an hour, easy, maybe an hour and a half, which is more than I expected, but, but I enjoyed it also. There's some result out of the work, which is great. And, uh, and that will help also with the stabilization and the airplane is actually in flight, that hopefully it will fly, of course. Next chapter will be about building the fuselage, at least part of it. I won't put in all the stringers, I believe, because I still need to get the electronics in it. But I'll start at least laying down the keel and building up the, at least the, the key formers will go on it. Good, so thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and then you'll get the not and click the notification bell and then you'll get notified once I managed to upload in the next video, which probably will be then the fuselage. Thank you once again. Have fun. Talk to you later.